Hey everybody, it is Scaredy Ginge. Obviously, we are doing something other than Slayer this week. Um, it is the Mining and Smithing Rework. I will call it the Mining and Smithing Rework week. Um, it's been pretty amazing. I think what I have enjoyed the most is seeing how many people have been playing. Um, there was a time, actually, I think it was yesterday, the day before, where it was kind of, I won't say laggy, but... I don't think they were ready for the amount of people that were going to be coming in to kind of check it out. So um, I figured I would take you on a little walkthrough um, with just some things that I find to be really, really awesome. Um, and then from here, um, I'll show you all of the ores that have come in with the rework. And we'll talk a little bit about the new pickaxe and just some other stuff that has come with it. So let's go ahead and check it all out. Alrighty, so right here, uh, this is the ore. As you can see, obviously we kept just about everything that was in here before. Um, the stars kind of signify what is new. So that is your luminite, auricolite, dracolith, necrite, uh, your phasmatite, bainite, light animica, dark animica. Um, so light animica and dark animica, they will happen in Prif um, during trot hour. And then there are locations outside, I believe, Letya and... Um, Oh, I cannot remember the other one, but there are two locations where you can mine them outside of Traw Hour, and so but I'll put that uh, I'll put that down in the information, and I will link y'all to the wiki as well. Um, so, again, one of the awesome things about this rework is the fact that well, nothing depletes anymore, so um, you can stay and you can mine all of these without having to worry, um, which is pretty pretty awesome. You're no longer fighting for or spots or anything, um, and Traw Hour is no longer about jumping worlds trying to find rune, which is pretty pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so I I'm, I won't say that I figure most of you are in Pref, but um, I, I I would figure a good amount of you are, and so I'm gonna just gonna show you around here um, in Pref, just what I've seen change. So obviously none of these deplete anymore. You have your Adam and Tite, your Myth Roll. Um, your coal. The difference also with some things here now is your gem rock over here, you'll no longer get as many gems from it. However, in certain areas down in the below the mining or the mining guild and then um, I believe they're located in some other locations as well. When you mine those uncommon and common gem places, that's where you're now going to get most of your gems for. Um, it will happen here, obviously not as often. Because one of the neat things now is you get geodes. Geodes happen as you are mining these or any uh, ores, and so those will drop. You open them, and then you have a chance of either getting a gem or a spirit shard inside. Um, so that's pretty, pretty neat. So far, I have gotten a, I believe it's the pink topaz, and now jade, on, or not onyx, opal, and then spirit shards. I know there are other ones, but I am not a high enough level to get those just yet. We'll head on over to here. Now, one thing you're gonna see is this heat forge here. Um, well, what's that? So that is when you are mining stuff or when you're smithing stuff now, what happens is, is as you're smithing it, it's gonna be a certain heat and then you'll start to lose that heat. So it'll be like you're making ceremonial swords and such. And so what you can do is you can take that item, heat it back up and then move it back over. Um, so it kind of just, it, it, it makes it more kind of interactive, which I find to be pretty fun. <laughs> and then when you go over to the furnace, as you can see completely re like redone, your ores are now all in one place. They can all be stored in here instead of in your bank. So yes, we don't have a bank rework. However, they have helped free up a couple spaces by doing this. So you uh, store your ores and your smithing on um, your bars here as well. So your, your bars are no longer in your bank uh, and your ore is not either. And then, um, so basically what you have in your um, inventory can be dumped into here and then one thing that came with it as well is your ore box. Now what you do is to build each because you need to have the basically the beginning box and then you'll go up to the next tier, next tier, next tier. Um, you have to say you're here. Um, uh, let's see, we'll go, this is the bronze bar and now so you'll go to the um, 
you'll go to what the material will be for that bar and then you'll see that it's that box and so you'll need to make this uh, you know box to move on to the next one and so it's a pretty neat way to do it and the significance of the ore box is that instead of having to use the um, sign of the porter you now only have to have this in here and so just to show you we'll walk back over to here so that way you can see the significance of it so we'll say i'm gonna mine some mithril okay another cool thing since we're here so as you can see i'm gaining different amount of experience every time this this goes and so what that is is it's not just taking into account the amount of experience you're gaining from mining that ore it's also taking into account with how um, hard you're hitting it and such now this gold one here that just simply it's kind of a perk to get you from doing stuff afk as you saw that one alone got me 306 experience but it can go much higher um i do believe the highest i've gotten personally is 608 experience um, but i do believe people have gotten higher than that and so okay so we have a few in here so basically what you do is just you say, uh, you say use mithril ore and then you go over to your box and boom they're in your box um one thing with it though is that in order to be able to store various amounts of ores in this box is you have to upgrade it and then you also have to get um, certain achievements and so there is one um, where you have to mine 15 different ores and you have to get 100 of each and so basically once you've earned uh, or you've mined 100 ores of iron that gives you a certain amount of uh, space in that box and then so on and so forth so definitely worth that huh it's try hour now so that's kind of funny. So with Trot Hour, you'll see um, it might not happen in this world, but you'll start getting your light animica and your dark animica. And so again, that will only happen during Trot Hour dur uh, in Prif. Um, I'll go ahead and hop worlds here soon so that way we can try to find one so that way I can show you what it looks like in, in the uh, Prif area. Alrighty, so here you can see I managed to find a world that has the both light and the dark animica. Um, it is no longer like it won't just be one area any single ore in here has a chance to becoming either ore. Um, so here is the light and here is the dark and basically you need to be level 90 to be able to do either but what's really awesome is if you're close and somebody uh, hits you with a pulse core you'll be able to mine them for just a little bit um, and they do offer up a good amount of experience. I was able to do it on the first day um, for like, I think I managed to mine it like five times. Um, so hitting it with my pickaxe five times. Um, but again, really good experience with that. So it was pretty neat. Yep, so there will always be um, either a dark animica or a light animica or both. There will never be more than just one of the dark or one of the light. But again, now that you don't have to worry about stuff running out, once these are here, they don't go away for the rest of the hour. So you can basically stay here the whole entire hour and mine these, but just uh, they will not be in every single world. So you will have to hop to find, um, but again, just so worth it gives you that ore and then gives you a good amount of experience. And then one of the other achievements now is the 22 ore types. So once you've mined each of those, you get a certain achievement for that because obviously you will lose your comp cape because of this, which is it's, it's what they do and it's completely okay. Um, you just, you finish those up and you are good to go. Alrighty. So, I'll go back up here. I'm gonna see if anybody is has the um, new pickaxe on them. I don't think any of these guys do, but we'll look. Okay, so nobody does in here. I'll go ahead and put a picture in just so that way you guys can see, but there is a new pickaxe. Um, it is meant to replace um, uh, just the crystal essentially because as we all know for most of us we use the crystal pickaxe just because you also get um, you augment it and then you're getting your invention experience along with having basically the highest tier um, pickaxe so now you will have a Bane pickaxe, uh, Imkando pickaxe, Elder Rune and then there's the Earthen Song 
Anything below Earth and Song is going to have um, about five tiers. The Elder Rune goes up to five. The Bane goes up to four. There's the Necronium. That one goes up to four. The Oracle of... The Oracle... <laughs> Or a calcum goes up to three, um, but the earth and song is going to be your highest tier. Now, with making these pickaxes, you will also need to make the pickaxe prior to that one. So, to be able to make the tier two elder rune pickaxe, you will need to make the tier one, and so on and so forth. So, again, a little bit more involved, but I think it just makes it a little bit more fun. Um, makes it a little grindy, but. It's nice to have things mixed uh, up just a bit. Alrighty, so now one of the things with this, which is gonna kind of cause me to get my butt in a gear when it comes to questing, <laughs> is the is the lava flow mine. Now, unfortunately, I have not done the quest that to do so, so I'll be having to do the King of the Dwarves, um, which is gonna be kind of nice to get in there. I need to get in there anyway, um, but it'll be a it'll be a fun mini game because essentially to make that final um, higher tier pickaxe, you need to combine a crystal, a dragon, and then the um, pickaxe that you get from the dwarven mine or the lava flow mine. So yeah, that'll, that'll help me get into doing some questing, I think. It is a master quest, so there's some things that I need to do to be able to get there. Um, so I think it'll be fun and it'll be a good way to kind of get some things taken care of so yeah that's just about everything with the um with the rework here obviously there's some stuff that I can't show you because well I can't do all of it um but I super look forward to now kind of gaining some levels I've already made two levels with my mining so that's been pretty nice <laughs> um because it's a little more afk now obviously and then um you know, it's just in my in, in my opinion a bit easier. Um, I just I look forward to it, and I look forward to seeing what happens in the future with it, um, and seeing how they rework whatever they are going to be working on next. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Again, I will leave a link down to the wiki for this entire rework, as well as um, some information on the quests that are needed to do the mini game but I will be back next week with my normal Slayer series and I look forward to having you there so have a wonderful day I hope you enjoy the rework and I look forward to seeing you again thank you so much